Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs YouTube salute! About to talk to you about Martin Roberson Delaney Before Marcus Garvey, yes <laughs> Delaney is considered to be the father of Pan-Africanism and the father of Black nationalism. He was an African-American abolitionist, the first African-American field officer in the United States Army, and one of the earliest African-Americans to encourage um, enslaved people to return to Africa. So Delaney was born in Charlestown, Virginia, which is now West Virginia, to a slave father and a free mother, Delaney's mother took her children to Pennsylvania in the early 1820s to avoid their enslavement and persecution brought on by attempting to teach her children to read and write. They wanted them to be illiterate. And at that time, if black people that was enslaved were literate, that was illegal. So, in 1833, Martin Delaney began an apprenticeship with a Pittsburgh physician and soon opened a successful medical practice in coping and leeching. In 1843, he began publishing a newspaper in Pittsburgh called The Mystery. Later on, Delaney joined Frederick Douglass and advocated the North Star in Rochester, New York. Delaney entered Harvard Medical School in 1850 to finish his formal medical education, but was dismissed from the institution after only three weeks as a result of petitions to the school from white students. Two years later, he published The Condition, Evaluation, Immigration, and Destiny of the Colored People of the United States Politically Considered, claiming that even abolitionists would never accept blacks as equal and thus the solution to the black condition lay in the immigration of all African Americans back to Africa. In 1859, Delaney led an immigration commission to West Africa to explore possible sites for a new black nation along the Niger River. We are a nation within a nation. We must go from our oppressors. That's a quote he always used to say. During the Civil War, Delaney, he served in the Union Army. In February 1865, after meeting with President Abraham Lincoln at that time, he persuaded the administration to create an all-black corps led by African-American officers. Delaney was commissioned um, a major in the 52nd U.S. Colored Troops Regiment. With that appointment, he became the first line officer in the U.S. Army history. Beautiful, I love hearing that. When Reconstruction began, Delaney was assigned to the Freeman's Bureau in South Carolina. There he called for black pride, the enforcement of black civil rights, the land for the freed people. Delaney became active in local Republican politics, losing a close election for lieutenant governor of South Carolina, but later serving briefly as a judge in Charleston, South Carolina. As the Republicans lost power in the state, Delaney renewed his calls for immigration, becoming in 1878 an official in the um, Liberian Exodus Joint Stocks Steamship Company. He also wrote in 1879, the principle of, um, of nonology, a book that argued that race, pride, and purity. So Delaney withdrew from the Liberian Exodus Company around 1880. He relocated to Boston, Massachusetts, and then um, to went to Willowforce Co College in Ixia, Ohio. He passed away January 12, 1885, and a lot of people consider him to be the father of black nationalism and the father of pan-Africanism. I consider him to be that. It's no disrespect to Marcus Garvey, but there's always somebody that's actually laid 
the stepping stone. Marcus Garvey, yes, he was the meat and potatoes of pushing that engine, but Delaney planted the seed. Let me know what you think about this black history historical figure. Once again, I'll be doing this every day for the whole month of February. Post your comments below. Folks, smash Black Panther the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.